friends, good morning. My name is Alexa, and thank you for joining us today from Kyra Center in London. And as we gather in reflection and prayer, we find ourselves enveloped in the gentle embrace of the season of Advent, a sacred time marked by anticipation and hope, calls us to prepare our hearts for the imminent arrival of Jesus Christ. In the quiet moments of this season, we are invited to pause, reflect, and open ourselves for the transformative power of his love. May this time of reflection be a journey of grace, leading us to the manger where we encounter the newborn king. In the spirit of Advent, let us joyfully prepare for the coming of Jesus, the light of the world, who dispels the darkness and brings everlasting hope. As we celebrate the gift of our faith, let us remember to pray for healing and peace that is needed in so many parts of the world now and in our hearts and hopes and homes, and especially those who are currently ill or isolated. And we pray for one another this morning as a community of faith and hope. Let us begin our time of prayer together in the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. God of love, your Son, Jesus, is your greatest gift of, to us. He is a sign of your love. Help us walk in that love during the weeks of Advent as you wait and prepare for his coming. Pray in the name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. I would like to now share with you from today's scriptures. The reading is from Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 to 20. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about, when his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph. But before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. I went to this wonderful retreat a few years ago organized by the LGBTQIA um, community in London. The theme was getting to know about St. Joseph. I must admit, I barely gave it any much thought about St. Joseph. I've always been more focused growing up um, with my devotion to Mother Mary and my grandmother who had so much devotion to St. Teresa of the Child Jesus. But as I slowly absorbed the story of St. Joseph, it dawned on me that his obedience to God's instruction to look after his wife, Mary, who was pregnant, and the child, Jesus, was of complete submission, total surrender, and obedience. Just as I shared yesterday the magnitude of Mother Mary's yes to the angel Gabriel, so was St. Joseph's yes. And I would like to take this opportunity to also highlight St. Joseph's admired qualities that we can all learn from. He was righteous and obedient. Joseph is described in the Bible as a just or righteous man. His immediate obedience to the angels' messages and dreams demonstrates his trust in God's plan, even with faith, even when faced with challenging circumstances. St. Joseph was also very humble. His humility. He is depicted as a humble and modest man. Despite being a descendant of King David, he embraced a simple and humble life as a carpenter, working to provide for his family. Protective care. St. Joseph's role as a protector of Mary and Jesus is highly admired. When we learned about Mary's pregnancy, he wanted to divorce her. But with angel's guidance, he had to take Mary as his wife and protect her and Jesus, even fleeing to Egypt to escape King Herod's threat. He was a provider and a worker. He was very hardworking and diligent, 
a provider for his family. And as a carpenter, he supported the Holy Family through his labor, embodying the dignity of work. God chose this man of great character who was considered by the world as lowly, as the one who was responsible for this very great task. He was responsible to give significant shape in Jesus' life and to give him that solid family structure. St. Joseph's silenced wrath is admirable too. He was described as a man of few words. There's actually no recorded sayings of Joseph in the Bible. However, his actions speak volumes about his character. His silenced strength and steadfastness made him a model for quiet and faithful service. St. Joseph's faithfulness to his calling, his mission, and his marriage, despite the unusual circumstances surrounding um, his wife's pregnancy, he remained faithful till his death. And his role as a father figure is not something that we take very lightly to, even though he knew that Jesus was not from him, Joseph is regarded as a father figure who provided love, guidance, and protection to Jesus during his formative years. So I hope that we all get to learn together from St. Joseph's life and his admirable qualities today. That when we say yes to God, when we say yes to his very important work, we are expanding his kingdom in this world. And as we bring our time of prayer, let us pray the Advent prayer of Ben Henry Nowen. Lord Jesus, master of both the light and the darkness, send your Holy Spirit upon our preparations for Christmas. We who have so much to do, seek quiet spaces to hear your voice each day. We who are anxious over many things Look forward to your coming among us. We were blessed in so many ways, long for the complete joy of your kingdom. We, whose hearts are heavy, seek the joy of your presence. We are your people, walking in darkness, yet seeking the light. To you we say, come, Lord Jesus. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. Friends. Thank you so much for joining, and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day.